Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video is about aileron rudder mixing. Now sometimes model aeroplane, if you roll the ailerons, it will only carry on going straight. You may need rudder to make it turn. Now when you get practiced at this, you can do it manually, but it's a, there is a way of mixing this in your Edge TX radio so that when you use the ailerons, the rudder moves as well at the same time. So first we're going to take a look at Edge TX Companion and then we're going to have a look at the settings on the radio. So let's switch over to Edge TX Companion. So you can see I've got my model open. Now the only place we need to go is the mixes. And to my rudder, I, my channel mapping is AETR as you can see. All we need to do is add one line and it's this line here. And we are going to say the source is aileron and then we're going to put our value in. Now this will depend, you would need to play around with this. You could use a global variable and then go into the global variable, but as it's just one entry, you could quickly do this at the field and change that value. I think I've got one plane that I've used this on and I only put, I think 15% in. But you can see for this demonstration, I've got 30% there. And that's, that's all we need to do. So if we simulate the radio, and if you watch this, this is our channels here, it's A-E-T-R, so this is the throttle. So if I use the aileron now, you can see the aileron's at full throw and the rudder is going over just 30%. So you're just using one stick to control both those surfaces. And as I said, you would pick, um, I mean, I would slowly build this up, just keep adding it, go for a flight and adding uh, the amount of rudder mix until you get it the way you would like it. Now, let's have a look at the radio. So now let's take a look at the mix on the radio. We're going to enter our model key and we're going to go over until we get to the mixes. And you can see our second line. Now to add a line, all you do is click and hold and say insert after. And then that will put the line in and then you will need to set it up in this way. And that's where we say the source is the aileron input and then you put the weight that you require. Now you could set this up to a switch. You could allocate a switch for it and put a switch in there so that it only works when you put the switch on. But I, if I have used, when I, when I have used this in the past, I've just had it as a fixed mix. Well, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, then please leave them in the comments section below because I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.